After configuring the library workspace with the proper layer sets, we're ready to start creating the footprint. The first step is to place the copper pads that make up the component. To get the most accurate information, we need to look at the component's datasheet. This will provide us with the recommended layout for our component which we can use to properly place and space our pads. You can place a pad from the active bar or from the place menu, or you can use the PP shortcut keys. The pad can be placed by left-clicking anywhere in the workspace. When the pad is selected, we can make changes using the Properties panel. The first thing you need to do is set the pin designator, which automatically matches the pin from the component symbol to the contact pad on the footprint. SMD pads will go in order from the first to the last. In most cases, multi-layer pads are used to create a through-hole pad, or as in our case, the top layer for the SMD pads. The shape and size of the contact pads are set under the pad stack section according to the sizes specified in the documentation. In order not to copy and repeat the same actions 19 times, we will use the paste array tool. We've already cut the pad into the clipboard using the cut command or the hotkeys control X. When copying or cutting an object, you must specify the anchor point relative to which the object will be inserted into the clipboard. Then run the command edit paste special paste array. In the array settings, specify the required number of objects, in this case, 19. Set the increment of the text to 1 since the number of the pads are in order. Set the spacing between the pads of the array to 0.5 millimeters and click OK. Now you'll need to define the start of the array. For convenience, we'll place the origin in the center of the array since all the dimensions from the datasheet are referenced from this point. Select the command Edit, Set Reference, Location, and left mouse button click between pads 9 and 10. We can create the mounting holes in the same way as a pad, but we'll need to change the location layer to multi-layer since this will be a through-hole pad, and for the designator we will use MH. In addition to the shape and size of the contact, the hole dimensions will have to be set as well. We will define the coordinates of the first hole at negative 7.25 and negative 1. Create a copy and place the second at the coordinates negative 7.85 and negative 5.9. So we don't have to repeat this action, we'll immediately copy both holes relative to the origin. After executing the copy command, we'll specify the anchor point at the origin. As we're doing this, they are inserted at the same location as the original, and you only need to mirror them by pressing X and pasting them. It's not considered good practice to use duplicate designators on pad mounting holes. We should therefore assign them unique designators. As we're about to finish up this footprint, we will double check the sizes. The sizes of the pads are in the properties, and to obtain distances between objects, the Measure Distance tool is used, which is located in the Reports menu. Hot buttons are Control M. When working with this tool, specify two points and get the distance between them. After checking all the required dimensions, press Shift C to clear them.